Hey guys, LickyHD here, and although this event does not have as many secrets as others, in this video we're going to be going over some secrets that you may have missed from this update, which some of them are pretty cool. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Alright, so some of these are going to be pretty small, however, I do think that they are definitely pretty interesting. Starting out, if you go right over to the area where the bell is, you're going to notice two pieces of candy on the floor. Now, this might seem like a really weird thing to put, considering the fact that if you look around the entire map there is not a single other piece of candy anywhere however this is actually a little callback to jolly village where there were actually two jolly village cookies placed in the exact same way as these candies behind the exact same bell honestly these little callbacks to jolly village really make this event super super awesome and of course, with the minigame, there is a lot of stuff that gets mirrored as well, but did you know if you go into free cam and you look at the trumble head up here, the trumble head actually changes colors and becomes this weird kind of like moldy decrepit look. On the old one, obviously, it was just a regular trumble head, but with this one, this is actually completely different. You can also notice if you go into free cam, you can see a Lashent literally standing right behind you. Just like how in the Jolly Village minigame, there was a Festifer right here. Now when playing the minigame, you can actually get tricked. Obviously everything else that you get inside of the minigame is a tree, and you can see who has the most treats collected by looking at this leaderboard. But if you walk around the back side of the leaderboard, you can see how many times people have been tricked. Now how do you get tricked? Well you have to get the piece of coal that says boo on it. Now this next one's going to be a little bit of a two-parter. If you remember all the way back to the unfair, Dr. Halloween had a tent full of a bunch of just weird machines and one of these machines was actually a board that was very 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 reminiscent of a Frankenstein board essentially the thing that held down Frankenstein's monster whenever it was being created now we never really got an answer as to why obviously this existed until this event, where we actually got to see the Frankenstein Bar Badger. And of course, you might be like, Lucky HD, where does this next part come into all of this? Well, the Bar Badger reskin is actually super interesting because it takes aspects of multiple different Lumians. The first of which, obviously, is Bar Badger. It takes the body and it takes some of the hands from a regular Bar Badger and puts it on. Next up is Ursul. It actually takes some of Ursul's feet as well as some of its hands as well. But one thing that you might not have noticed is that it actually takes part of Vesperado's foot. Yes, the foot at the bottom left right here you can see is actually the same as Vesperado. Obviously it is not the same proportions when, you know, neither is the Ursul arm. However, this is still a super super cool reference to all of these Lumians. The next one that's super interesting, if you walk to the end of the forest and you go inside of the witch's house, you will actually notice a Wendelin head placed on a board inside of the room. Just like the Trumbull, obviously, I really don't know what people's obsession are here with putting Lumian's heads on boards. If we progress further into the witch's house and start to go into some of these rooms, you can actually notice some very, very interesting things. Like over here, this is actually the Soul Burst Florant piece. This like weird Venus flytrap thing is the same one that is featured on the back of Soul Burst Florant. But did you know if you go over here, you can actually notice these same little tree and rocks over here are the same ones that are on Soul Bursted Gastroke. Yes, this is the exact same pieces that are used on both Lumians. And finally, whatever this witch is doing inside of this room, something weird is definitely happening because if you notice at the top right here, you can actually see a giant soul crystal coming down from the roof. Now, whether this means we might get a soul burst in this event, obviously within the part two or whatever, is definitely left up for debate. However, let me know your thoughts about all of these down in the comments below. Which one of these did you find the most interesting? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.